know what they say about you lot? If you seek justice, hire a witcher. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. Show me what you have in stock. Show me what you have in stock.
so long. Duties to defend your motherland, to kill your motherland's enemies, dying for your motherland. Greetings! Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Farewell.
Kendrick! Kendrick! You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off to- Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F foglets Oh, sweet mother, my little why I ever come here? Kendrick fellow, who is he? I... We's partners. Sneak into derelict houses. With something valuable lying about. Mm-hmm. So you're a thief? Thieves steal from the living. What's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Ain't nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Fresh manure. Fresh manure. Used often. Wonder by who. Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. the lamp and the grounds trampled somebody dragged something this way a body rotted completely. from Cleet 
ragged boots, leading from the back of the garden. Scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. dragged a wounded man through here.
fuck was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Old Geard gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves.
ready, and everything's clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table. Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Hmm, fire damage. Interesting.
chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. Uh, and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies? <gasps> Surprised? No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that.
I didn't know Iris von Everick, but the paintings here show amply that she and Olgird were a loving couple. Iris must have been happy, once. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Follow you? All right. What is this place? The painted world. The work of Iris von Everek. you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete. Blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. Painting palette. Pieces of tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. The spirit from the step. Read often, well worn. Probably not right. Probably not right. Perfect match. 
Iris was painting the manor. Perfect match. We should get a dog. Or a dog and a cat. Even better. When the rain comes, the dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. What do you think? Are you even listening? Apologies, dear. I had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Why? It's lovely out here. The birds singing, the bees buzzing. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. It's holding tattered decorations for a special occasion. A wedding veil. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my life. Custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and toss them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything.
medallions humming. A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized, one you must now face. This one's incomplete, too. Just a little different than Castel de Velo. A Toussaint wine. Expensive. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll, Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, okay. kid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? What now, you piece of bill? So let's follow him. Not you again. Don't like this place. The bedchamber. Hell stained with blood. It's almost gone. Blood stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped what, them dry on their time towel. What time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. 
Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. Gotta look just like the painting. Fits, I think. Here. Maybe on this side. was here. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I have a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgird. Olgird! Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Blood pacts, or on foreign presences. Manor was depressed. 
depressingly gloomy in the winter. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. These wax candles. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. The spell must I use, damn it! I've tried them all! I wish to end our pact! I summon them! Father. 